Oh my God, you guys. We are coming in fast and we are coming in hot with a classic case of chlamydia. Ah, it's time to get sexy and welcome back everyone. We are so excited you're here. Obviously, you know what time it is. You know who Jared is. Hashtag make Jared an internet celebrity. He's here. He's queer. Get over here, Jared Bear. Give me the computer. So obviously Jared named this series like salacious like Reddit slut secrets last time or something like that. It's like Reddit, this and that. And continue taking selfies. It's not even like once it happens and it's over. Like continue taking selfies. Hashtag let's make Jared an internet celebrity. Let's fill up like his tag things on Instagram. So it's just like all selfies with like fans of Jared. <laughs> I have also executive decision that we're changing the name of the series to, to Reddit. Tech. So we did one already. We called it Revealing Scandalous Secrets About Cheating and More. But now we're changing it to Reddit Sex. And tidbit, it was the, it had that the fastest you. first you week are... growth of yeah. any video of yours. You guys were really like tickling the algorithms taint uh, for this video. So we're excited to get sexual again. Does my hair have blowout milk in it? Yes. Is there a complete conditioning mist? Absolutely. Absolutely. What does that have to do with this video? Well, it doesn't matter, but this is about hair, okay? Like it's about hair and it's about sex and it's about Reddit, but it's always about what? Hair first. Look at this bounce. Look at the shine. Kick There's always out. linked in description. Link in description. No, go over there, Jared Barrett. Hashtag make Jared an internet celebrity. We gotta ask questions. So I barely know how Reddit works. I barely know how I got out of bed this morning, but the truth is this. You go on Reddit and you like type in there's all different subreddits. There's all these subreddits. Everything. Oh, because I always see the ones on the news about like, am I the a-hole subreddit about like when people won't like switch seats on a plane or like when someone won't like do something for like a bridal party or something like, but I love it. Like I love that one. But this one is like more salacious. It's sluttier. It's sexier. It's my mouth is already watering. It's called true off my chest. True off my chest. Go to Reddit. If you just gotta go read. Oh. My God, you guys, we are coming in fast and we are coming in hot with a classic case of chlamydia. Honey, I've had it like 64 times. I mean, what? It's, you said that, <laughs> weirdo. Why did you say that, camera person? God, I was like, not everyone wants to know about it. God, I was, I'm, I'm sorry, I freaked out. I did go through a phase where, it's fine, I'm working. Just stop asking me questions. I am livid. I'm livid. I'm reading now. I'm monologuing. This is me actressing. I'm livid. My wife gave me chlamydia. Already, my spidey senses, my amygdala is triggered. How do I know that he didn't get chlamydia, like, from someone and give it to his wife? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, those that points a finger has to be pointing back at him. You know what I'm saying? So he probably got chlamydia. This is a case for the FBI. The only person I have had sex with within the past five years has been my wife. Liar! I thought I had a bladder infection or UTI and scoffed when my doctor thought it was chlamydia. Well, here we are. I got the test results yesterday and I have chlamydia. Not me, obviously, but wow. Well, don't worry. Like, who hasn't had chlamydia? Like, 1, 2, 12, 15 times. It's not a big deal, honestly. Like, you, like, swallow a Z-pack hole and you're fine. You know, it's not a big deal. But we do love getting tested. We love knowing your uh, sexual health. We love knowing your all your statuses for all the STIs. So, yes, get tested. But if you get chlamydia or gonorrhea, honey... I mean, unless it's one of the antibiotic resistant ones, but you only hear about that on news like once in, you know, blue moon. So you're probably fine. Just get tested. It's not that bad. I mean, I've had like 74,000 STDs and it's fine. STIs. It's fine. You're, it's literally, you're fine. This guy's already freaking me out because he's like so upset about a little old chlamydia. God. But is he upset about that or upset that his wife? Could well, be I think he's a cheating liar face himself because why is it her? Decided to start snooping and it didn't take long to find the text messages. Oh, okay. So, it, okay. So maybe he wasn't lying. You guys, I feel bad. <gasps> Decided to start snooping and it didn't take long to find the text messages between her and her boy toy. My guess is she doesn't even know she had it as well. She thinks I stayed up all night working, but little does she know I've already emailed her little lover boy's wife all the text messages. I'm still deciding how to process all this, but wifey's going to wake up to my positive test results and the messages of her infidelity. She should divorce you after that. The sun should be coming up in the next hour or two and probably will be the end of this marriage update i'll make a longer update eventually i didn't confront her that morning boy toy's wife ended up responding to me and she has not confronted her husband yet either i'm getting my legal bases covered first 
Wah, wah. I mean, maybe that's smart, but like, I want to know what happened. I'm sorry I accused you of being a cheater yourself. It does sound like, in fact, your wife did cheat on you, but I would also venture like you probably were f***ing her really bad and that's why she did it. And it honestly is probably mostly your fault because the fact that you went and like aired your family's dirty laundry on Reddit, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, what, you wouldn't toss her salad? Like, there's something that she wanted that you wouldn't do and so she f***ed someone else, okay? Like, that, that is how these things happen. I did her for 15 years, okay? Okay. The next one. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Have we ever had more fun in our lives? Okay, the second one. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting and a, b a bargain. I paid a girl $7,000 every month to live with me and be my girlfriend. So she got free. Like, sign me up. Like, that's great. Our agreement just ended last week when she wanted to go back to college and it lasted for five months. But the countless post nut clarities just hit now god damn it i need to tell someone at least and most people i know in real life will mock me the girl was an online friend who dropped out of college and wanted to get back on her feet she kept on making suggestions that she wanted to leave her family house but had no money and she couldn't trust the craigslist ads smart girl until she straight up made an offer i think she knew i had a crush on her and i just couldn't say no i was a 29 year old virgin at the time and i'm not gonna bore oh my god i was a 29 year old virgin at the time and i'm not gonna bore you with the reoccurring themes of self-deprecation in this context but i guess you get the gist it was the first time I had the chance to get with a girl I liked and I make a lot of money, so I thought, why not? Um, I really did enjoy every second I spent with her, but alas, all good things must come to an end. We said our goodbyes last week and I'm alone again. Honestly, I think you got off really great here because like typically an, an escort would charge like a thousand or fifteen hundred a night for like full penetrative sex. You did that like, like that's, as long as you had sex like five times a month, you probably like, saved money, helped her get on her feet, and you lost your V-card, which is all great things that you wanted to do. And there's no shame in this. This is great. Yay for you. You know, as long as she, you know, was consenting and wanted to and great, you know, that's, you know, fine. Good for you. Yeah, you should probably go like a lot more people now though, because this is really sad. <laughs> um, yeah, just to be clear. And go to therapy because you had an escort as your girlfriend for five months. <laughs> So that could be an indicator that you might need to process that. Tomorrow I'm going to ruin his life. I've been with him for three years now. This sounds like a Carrie Underwood song. I've been with him for three years now. We plan on getting married when our lives settle down. When our lives settle down. I wanted to start a family with him. I loved him more than anyone else in this world. Ooh, anyone else in this world. When it all settled down. Uh. Maybe next time we'll think before he eats. You guys, I was like so good. I sacrificed so much for him, moved away from my home, turned down jobs so I could stay with him, and stood by his side as he started to go back to school. I gave him my word. And he cheats on me. And he cheats on me. You should have him go f the lady from the first one. I found out over a month ago the scumbag got cocky, and I found out he and I found out he was cheating on me with two different women. Ah! One is a TA at his university. That floozy. The other is his best friend's girlfriend. girlfriend. Rude. I'm livid. I write this post choking back venom. Let it out, girl. Let it pour. I loved him so much. He was my world. But now he will be the world I burn to nothing but ash. I pay for everything since he quit his job last year to go to school. And then he f***ed to other bitches. I hate him. I was more than happy to help him. I make enough to support us both. The only upside is the student loans are in his name with no connection to me. Work. It will hurt to push the scumbag out to sea, but I will survive. I have held out for a month, enough time to create what I call, quote, the day his world burns. Tomorrow we are hosting a party. Oh, I arranged for his family to come, but my family will sadly not be able to make it. I have packed everything valuable already and the suitcase is in the back of my car. My brother will come during the event tomorrow to take the car that is in my name that the dirtbag drives to my parents' house. The joint account, which is all my money anyway, is already empty. The event will be great and he thinks it's for us to announce our engagement to his family. What will happen in reality is I will announce my departure from his life. 
I have already taken a job out of state and have lined up a new place to live. I will start by telling everyone what he is into. The screenshots of him asking his friend's girlfriend to piss on him and the many other fantasies his degenerate mind came up with will be passed around. Yes, bitch. I will hand him the notice to vacate as I already have broken our lease. We need to be out by the end of the month. I will then end off by informing him I have already reported he was sleeping with the TA to one of his classes the previous semester to the university and that I am sad I won't see the fallout from that. His friend also has a message for him that I will deliver, informing him that his friend group never wants to see him again as well. And with that, I will leave. I will not look back. I will set his life on fire and walk away. Ah, that was hot. It was sexual. It was devastating. What I hope happens is that the best friend who he f that best friend's girlfriend, I hope that best friend's hot, has like a nice girthy D, a good job, doesn't have ties to that hometown so he can move with you out of state and maybe you like pick your life up together with him. Maybe he's into, I don't know. I was gonna say anal, like I don't know why, but like I just did and like, I just love that for you. Like I hope you have a life filled with like hot anal sex and like new boyfriends because you deserve that. Good for you. I'm breaking up with my boyfriend after looking through his phone. I know looking through someone's phone is not a nice move, however. I had a gut feeling about someone and it turns out I was right about it. Mind you, I moved this boy with me to my hometown. We lived together, have been together for almost two and a half years. I paid most of the things for the house. I genuinely imagined the rest of my life with him. I took pics of the conversations from my phone, printed them out, and I'm gonna give it to him in an envelope tomorrow. This was the girl I was concerned about told him about how she bothers me and I cannot let this go, and he multiple times told me they're just co-workers. Meanwhile, he was messing around with her. Honestly, I am so scared, but mostly just heartbroken because I did everything I ever could for him and nurtured his every mouth! I only ask to be loved in return and he backs at me in the most disgusting way. I am scared. <sighs> You'll be fine. You sound young. Uh, but you're, you're gonna be fine. And f*** him. And it's better that you know now. He wants to call off my divorce because my cancer treatment was successful. When I was diagnosed with testicular cancer, he filed for divorce because he said it would be, quote, too much to take care of me. In my province, you have to live separately and apart for one year before a divorce is granted. Since he left, I've had surgery, chemotherapy, and my latest checkup shows no evidence of disease. When he found that out, I don't know how, he applied in court to withdraw the divorce application. He told me we can stay married since I'm no longer sick and was actually shocked when I blocked the divorce withdrawal petition through my own lawyer. I don't want to be married to him after what he did. Well, no shit. F that guy. Ew. Ew. And ew. Oh my God, ew, David. F him, you're probably gonna get someone like way cuter, way better, and that will appreciate all of what you have to offer and will stick with you through the thick and the thin like you deserve because you're gorgeous and you're a goddess and that guy, but I love you. Ah, that was scintillating. It was excruciating yet exciting all at once. Like the duality, it was just so much fun. If you are not on Reddit, honey, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Get on there, it's so much fun. I can't wait to have another installment of Reddit sex. And hopefully next time we're gonna hear a story about anal that isn't me adding that. Next time I think we might do like a different Reddit page, but I love our Reddit series. I love you. Thanks for coming on our YouTube. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let the people know you're like, oh my god, did you know that Jonathan Van Ness? Uh, they have like the funniest little YouTube. Did you know it's like kind of funny? They're like doing hair. They're talking about fun stuff. You should give it a watch. Word of mouth. Fun. Come check it out. We love you so much. Thanks for coming. Bye.